students my name is kriti and i am your chemistry teacher and today we'll be talking about a very important topic that is mixtures from the chapter is matter around us pure is it pure is it not pure what do you think well to common people pure substance means anything without adulteration adulteration means the undesirable substances that are present right but Science is more specific. So let's understand this topic today. But before we get started, there is a reminder for all of you. The mini learning program is absolutely free for all of you. Quickly use the code YT free because the offer is going to end on 17th of July. So really less time is left, guys. Quickly avail this offer. Use this code YT free to unlock all the premium features starting from two teacher advantage to personal guidance and of course so much more. You name it and it's there. So go grab this opportunity because it's ending on 17th of July. All right, let's see what are we going to cover today. So today we will be talking about pure substances. We'll also be talking about mixtures and the various types of mixtures that we have. So homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture. So let's get started. Hey, I wish to buy milk. So let's do one thing. Let's go to a store. So here we have a store. Can you figure out where is milk? Well, we can see a lot of stuff out there, right? There you go. You can spot milk out there, right? Let's zoom in a bit and see what's written on the carton. Hey, it says pure milk. Well, what does it mean by pure? Is it really pure? So if you'll ask the shopkeeper or any common person, they would say, yes, absolutely. The product is very pure. Hamara jo milk hai, bilkul pure hai yaan pe. But if you'll ask a scientist, the answer is going to be a big no. What is there that's the difference well let's see for a shopkeeper the moment he or she says that the product is pure what they mean is that there is no adulteration that's why they are calling it pure substance but science has something more in store for all of you so according to a scientist a pure substance actually contains only one type of particles and you see water over here right water it has definite composition right so pure substances they have definite composition that is very very important point now irrespective of the source of water it is still going to be h2o only right so yes water is a pure substance and all pure substances have definite composition now let's go back to the case of milk milk actually is a mixture it contains water fats protein so everything is mixed together so now you know that the milk is not a pure substance so most of the substance that you see around you they are mixtures you can see all interesting delicious food items out there they are mixtures besides this soil alloys minerals all these things all these substances are mixtures and many more examples are also there now i've been using this term mixture so much you must be wondering what exactly is a mixture so let's take the case of your favorite burger to understand what's a mixture mixture actually contains two or more pure substances can you see how beautifully all of them are being mixed together to make this delicious burger so you know that your burger is a mixture because it contains more than one component so you know that burgers are mixtures they are not pure substances now coming to another example lemonade clearly you can see in this case that the substances are being mixed together in any proportion so if you make a lemonade that's going to be different than if i make a lemonade or any of our friends right so the substances are being added in any proportion so in this case no definite composition is there that is very very important point that no definite composition would be there so we can definitely conclude that a mixture contains more than one pure substance in any proportion here we have salty water with us and how is this water being formed we've added salt to water now if i'll ask all of you to make salty water you will be adding salts in different amounts so yes in any proportion the constituents are being added to make this mixture of salty water even though salt and water they are pure substances now you know about mixtures you know about pure substances so yes so on the basis of the chemical nature matter can be pure or 
impure. By impure, we mean mixtures. Pure, you all know, right? A pure substance contains only single type of particles. And for mixtures, there are going to be more than one pure substance that is present in any proportion. Now, let's talk about mixtures a bit more. So, we were discussing about lemonade and we were discussing about burger. All interesting stuff in this session, huh? So, they are same in a way, yet they are different. How are they same? They are same because they are both mixtures. But how are they different? Let's understand that now. So, let's start with lemonade first. Lemonade, you'll actually notice, it has lemon juice and sugar mixed in water. Now, it has no visible boundary of separation between the particles. So, in a way, we can say that the substances are uniformly distributed throughout. More examples of homogeneous mixtures are being given here. So, yes, you know what homogeneous mixtures are. There is going to be uniform composition throughout. For example, in case of salty water, soft drink, juices, even alloys and even sugar and water, all these are examples of homogeneous mixtures wherein there is no visible boundary of separation and uniform composition is throughout. Now coming to the next important type that is heterogeneous mixture. In this case, you'll notice that there is no uniform composition. So, you can see this burger and figure that out, right? Clearly, you can see the visible boundaries of separation between the components. That means it has physically distinct parts. So, yes, this is going to be a heterogeneous mixture. Substances are not uniformly distributed. So, you know about homogeneous, you know about heterogeneous. Let's talk about the examples of heterogeneous now. Mixed pulses, fruit salad, pizza, all these are examples of heterogeneous mixtures, even oil and water. So, when you mix oil and water, you, you will find that two separate layers are being formed. Composition is not uniform. Sand and water. So, there are so many examples of heterogeneous mixtures around you. So, my dear achievers, I hope you all know about pure substances now and mixtures as well. And more importantly, you know about the types of mixtures that is homogeneous and heterogeneous. And with this, we've come to the end of this short session. So, yes, we've got you covered, guys. We will be coming back with amazing sessions for all of you so that you're able to ace your exam. But I have a homework question that I'm going to give you towards the end. So, stay tuned, okay? Alright, gentle reminder that the mini learning program is currently at this point of time, absolutely free, but the offer ends on 17th of July. So quickly use this code YT free to avail this offer, which is going to end pretty soon. Use this offer, unlock all the premium features and enjoy learning in the best possible manner. Now, before we close, as I told you, I have a very interesting homework question for all of you. That is, you have to let me know in the comment section whether chocolate is a pure substance or a mixture. So, I'll be waiting for your answers. And yes, before that, quickly like this video, subscribe to the channel and yes, hit the bell icon as well so that you get notified every time. So, I will be waiting for your answers. And yes, it's time to sign off now. So, keep smiling, keep working hard and I'll see you super soon.